So she was a, right, right. she was going to give me a, 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 um, a warning, and then she said she was going to give me a ticket. I said, you can't give me either one of those things. And I just continued to walk. And she said, well, um, what is your name? And I said, I don't have to give you my name. I said, I'm a free citizen walking on this beach. I've done nothing wrong. And then she said, well, I can and I will. And she said, I will give you a ticket. And she said, and I will take you to jail. I said, well, that's not going to happen either because I've done nothing wrong. You have no jurisdiction over me. She said, well, where did you park? And I waved up, up there somewhere. And I had a little stick that I carry with me because I'm handicapped. Yeah. And in talking, my arms went out from my side. And she said, don't you threaten me with that stick. And I said, oh, please. She said, give that to me. And I said, I will not. I said, I need this. I'm partially handicapped. And uh, then she had another one of her people. She called in for backup. Huh? She got a backup. He came and uh, he had his ATV thing. And then he stopped on the right side of me because I was walking um, south and she was on the left and so she uh, he stood in front of me and I said I said I'm going to continue walking I said you should move and he said he put his hands up like he was going to stop me and I said don't you touch me don't either one of you touch me I said I've done nothing wrong and I continued to walk and he stepped off to the side of me but they both followed me in their ATVs for another half a mile and I let Really, Fishermen yeah. know that I was getting arrested just in case. Jeez, wow, what a... And I didn't have an ID. I didn't have any any uh, identification whatsoever. Well, how did you know what to say? I just prayed to God and I read the Constitution. <laughs> yeah, so you believe in the Constitution and God. Absolutely, and that, uh... yeah. Yeah, yeah. My grandfather fought in World War II. My uncles fought in or, World War I. My uncles fought in World War II. My father fought in World War II. My husband fought in Vietnam, and my son went into the military. I'm a descendant of John Hart, who signed the Declaration of Independence. There is a reason that we have this country, and if we don't fight for it, we will lose it to the Chinese and to any other uh, invader that comes in here. What's going on today is a media creation, and the population is being kind of led by a media system that looks from the outside like hundreds if not thousands of diverse companies that are all being operated in what the CIA kind of calls the mighty world sir and so that if you want to sell the population 9-11 or building 7 collapsing because of little fires or uh, the Gulf of Tonkin incident or Syrian Danny or Kuwaiti babies thrown out of incubators. You go all the way back to the United Fruit Company. Right. 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 Yeah, I, mean, I, I, I tend to think of it as a bunch of boys clubs fighting it out, out with each other on a global scale, and they have a lot of resources and nation states and politicians in their back pockets. I like to call it organized crime. They all have yeah. the same story. It, yeah? If you, so if, if I wanted to trace it back, yeah. my, my thesis is it's intergenerational organized crime using the technique of government, gubernari mente, yeah. governing control mente the mind, to raise the population up in these church schools, sliding them a hidden religion called statism, which is the belief in the legitimacy desirability and the necessity of having a government even though there's no iron as opposed to lab, pure anarchy uh, well you can't use the word anarchy anymore because they changed the definition of that from just being no rulers to being chaos and dystopia and bad <laughs> max. yeah but that isn't what anarchy it's is it's not it's not no, but mo- no. so we've changed no, to I, volunteerism you've got to go by your own definition yeah. uh, what, what are you living what's the program you're li- uh, running well so we call yeah. it volunteerism so there's been kind of like a rebrand and volunteerism is the idea that all vo- all relationships should be voluntary and that nobody gets to use violence force fraud on anybody else even the government. So the, there's no Ayn exemption Rand. for morality. Mm-hmm. Pure Ayn Rand. Uh, it's a little, it's, it's, it's Ayn Rand, but it's also, um, uh, it's the golden rule. Yeah, it's it natural is. law. But it's that was the, always don't, her. You can do whatever you want as long as you don't harm anybody else. Right, but that That's was always it. her thing. She would yeah. call anyone who would take something that they didn't negotiate thugs. That means uh, yeah, I yes. want what you've got, yep. so I'm going to hit you in the head with a club and take it. Right. Now, however you accomplish that doesn't really matter. It's thugism. Right. And Even so she if, nailed yeah. that right off the bat. I mean, civilized people negotiate with each other. They make business deals. Exactly. They agree on things. Mm-hmm. Win-win, hopefully. Yes. Yeah. Well, that's, you know, caveat emptor. That's yeah. business. And, yeah. and you have to let it, you know, sure, yeah. let, let it roll. Go. Everybody sure. does, isn't successful. But, you know, if you learn something, you turn it around and you try it again. Yeah. So that's... Yeah. Pick yourself up you, and keep going. Exactly. Right. Yeah. You know. 
So, yeah, I mean, a lot of what you said is, you know, <laughs> straight, like John Gall. You know? yeah, yeah. <laughs> it it, it is interesting because everyone's running a slightly different police system here. You know, it's, yeah. it's like you just talked to this lady who's really into the battle of good and evil and how it's unfolding right now. As well, well, it is. This is definitely and, the and forces I guess they all of good and evil. Connect. Is there a common yeah. story to all the different. Yeah, belief systems that are. Well, I'll tell you this. So if you yeah. if you look at if you look at government as always being illegitimate because some people are given this ability to use violence is. on other people. Yeah. Uh, if you if you. Well, I think of it as a central nervous system, and I know a central nervous system illegal or bad or I don't know. I, I think it's part of evolution. I mean, we're species has evolved. We're starting to create telecommunications in the last hundred years. Right. That's a phenomenal. It's connecting us up as a single organism. Yeah, but you you're know? assuming and, that that yeah. it's necessary. No, yeah, it's yeah. just happening. I'm not saying it's not. couldn't society or self-organize? Can you stop using a cell phone? I doubt it. No, no. I, no? Like, I mean, that, it's, it's, a, it's an evolutionary yeah, process. Yeah, that's the world. That, wait, wait, wait. In a world, a choice you in a world without, sort of. in a world without government, in yeah. a world without government, you'd still have cell phones, you'd still have wealth, you'd still have... So a spontaneous government would happen then, or something that no, would no, take no, the place no, of no, government. No, no. So if you think of government as just a provider of, of, uh, of services to the community... Okay. Flow of energy from one state to another, from one place to no, another. Like, uh, because because yeah. there's a... There's uh, a money uh, as Because what? everybody wants to be safe and secure in their homes. There's Ideally, you want to... for armed protection. Yeah, I see the police as an immune system, uh, immune system uh, evolution of the species. So it's used biological metaphors, I think, for understanding new government. Right. Well, and uh, if they were always yeah. on the side of right, that would be fine. Well, right and wrong. But What's right and wrong in biology? You know? no, no, I mean, it's... Well, no, no, they're funded yeah. by... They're funded through extortion. And they're funded through them, them saying that they get the... That everybody's got to pay them money. So they would base basically a disease. They are the disease. See, there you go. Yeah, See? Well, in a way, they're... they're, 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 they're is it an autoimmune no, response? No, no, the government is, it is a, a uh, parasite. Cancer? The government's a parasite that is attached to... Parasite, okay. Parasite. Parasitic organisms. Li- now, that's what viruses are. It's living right. off the host. Yeah. So it's a viral organism. Yeah, and they mutate uh, once in a while. So maybe government is the a virus. Government is <laughs> like a virus. virus. It really is. <laughs> they mutate. The best, that's the they best are analogy. That's, it's that's a virus. Good analogy. Yeah. It's yeah. living off, like it's they a parasitic are. virus. I can think about that it's one. It's living yeah. off yeah. of like taxes. Yeah. And they act, the funny thing is they think they're taxpayers when they're actually tax receivers. They do not actually pay any no. taxes. No. The taxes are what are stolen from the productive members of society right. that are then collected taken in by the government oh, yeah, that then distributes the taxes to their their cronies right. so they just receive less taxes right yep yeah, the, that pretty much sums it up that's right. Right. Yeah, exactly. Exactly. <laughs> exactly and exactly. this whole thing is an asshat for a collapsing financial system which was already yeah. collapsing see it was on its way anyway oh yeah. it was on its way anyway the whole the whole world was because look what they've done to the euro look at any monetary system they've all been printing fiat currency like mad Okay, it doesn't represent value, and so people really need to know the difference between money and currency. They're not the same thing. This is currency. No. Well, there's big... this paper shit that they print up. It's or, currency. Or the... the difference between one dollar and and a trillion dollars is twelve keystrokes on a keyboard. That's all it is. Lips on okay. a screen. It doesn't represent value. In That's reality. the problem. Yeah. Money Especially represents when you're value. Two, three trillion dollars at a time. It's, it's ridiculous. Well, yes. It's kind of funny yeah. money. And we're seventy-seven yeah. trillion in the hole right now. Yeah. Look at the debt clock. It's not well, more than that if you include the unfunded liabilities. No, so that, this is, that so this does is include unfunded liabilities. Come join us. We're the committee to reopen Santa Cruz to save lives. Yeah. Welcome to the committee to reopen Santa Cruz to save lives. All right. Beach day number three. All right. So your third day out, please? Or? Third time. We did like two weeks ago and then uh, and then one week ago. We get to enjoy the sun and like be free humans. Uh-huh. Right? You know, be sheltered in place or is already unconstitutional and immoral. So the government will take as much as we will tolerate. Yeah. So how much are you willing to tolerate until they shut down all the businesses? No, no, but, uh, you know, there's they're playing the medical card, you know? I mean, what, what does that mean to you? I mean, it should be... Hey, I think health is important. Yeah. But I'm not responsible for your health, and you're not responsible for my health. Well, Governor, the county officials yeah. are not responsible for my health. It's called personal responsibility. This is the other side of freedom. You're personal responsible, and you're free. There's whistleblowers coming out, nurses coming out saying they're, they're medically mismanaged, and um, it's, it's diabolical what they're doing right now. And so nationally, there's a larger agenda. You got the forced vaccines. Bill Gates even said, "I'm trying to have seven billion doses created." Well, somebody's going to make money off those seven billion doses. So hey, make your money, do what you want, but don't use coercion. The pond's beginning to boil. 
<laughs> exactly. That's why regular, ordinary people are starting to get out here and, and do civil disobedience and be active because they're seeing their country go to mass totalitarianism. It's no longer acceptable. Mm. We're the visionaries. This yeah. group out here, because we have courage to come out and call out the government violating your natural rights, not constitutional rights. Your rights, your life, and your liberty come from creator or nature or God, not from the government. And these guys are making $300,000 multiple, the county clerk, the, the city attorney, of your money, from your taxes. They're making $6,000, $7,000 a week while we're trying to put pennies and nickels together on a beach that's closed. So this is what's happening. Humanity is right. The spirit of, of freedom is rising and we're evolving beyond statism. The left-right paradigm. This guy and that guy. There's no savior. The savior is the man in the mirror, the woman in the mirror. Make some friends, make some uh, relationships with people and build your own community. And this is what's happened. Like a, the centralization of power, naturally, like, like Lord Acton said, power corrupts and absolute power corrupts. Absolutely. You give someone the ring of power. Do you know that the Lord of the Rings is based on a voluntarious type author, J.R.R. Tolkien? Mm -hmm. The ring of power, right? Yeah. Even even the Hobbit, you know, Frodo, he's going to throw the, the ring into the fire. Yeah. And all of a sudden he says, no, that's my ring, right? The <laughs> ring of power. You can't resist it, huh? You can't resist it. So once you yeah. throw away the ring of power, nobody has any special rights, even if you have a badge, even if you have a, a gun, a uniform. You don't have any special rights. Everybody's subject to morality. And this is what's happening. The moral cause, the moral compass, which we weren't taught in public schools. Correct. Where would you go for thinking for yourself? Where would you uh, You gotta go look in the mirror. Look in the mirror. Huh? Yeah, look at your fingerprints, look at your DNA. You are one amongst seven billion human beings. You matter. Your yeah. soul matters. And whether you believe in creation or evolution or reincarnation, yeah. this is important. As my friend here says, you got marbles, you got life force. Yeah. You can't just give them away to everybody. You're gonna die one day, and you gotta enjoy this life. Have love, have food, have fun, and have party. Not violence and coercion like the count on. Bring your, bring your frisbees out here. Bring the umbrellas. Come out, and have some fun. Cool. Yeah, we're, we're gonna keep doing it. And so I recommend anybody hearing this come out, do it with us. Strength in numbers. We're not outnumbered. We're out organized. And so that's what the committee to reopen Santa Cruz and save lives is all about. Bring the people together. Have some fun. Bring some popcorn, bring some non-alcoholic beverage because they won't allow it. Um, yeah, you can go to davidjamesrodriguez.com or you can join the Facebook group. Go to uh, the Committee to Reopen Santa Cruz to Save Lives. Uh -huh. It's a Facebook group. Also, there's a group, Santa Cruz Voluntarists. Uh, we believe voluntarism is the future where you engage in voluntary relationships. No exceptions. Either it's voluntary or it's coercion and coercion is immoral and criminal. So that's what I'd recommend you go to and join the groups. Okay. Today is Freedom Friday <laughs> and uh, we're going to keep doing it and All right. um, it's going to get exciting. Excellent. So, well, yeah. Thank you very much. Absolutely. Thanks for being here. All right. Yeah. Okay. What are you saying? You guys all leave. Oh yeah? Like you are? Yeah. Leaving. Race. Yeah. Come join us. We are the committee to reopen Santa Cruz to save lives. Um, Alan Del KSCO uh, Radio here. What are the what are the rules officially at this point? Uh, are you? I'm a, I'm a journalist at the okay. KSCO Radio. I can't talk to the media. If you want to talk to the supervisor, you can uh, speak with them. So you're muzzled. Where is he? Is yeah. what? You're muzzled then, huh? Yeah, he just starts to talk. So only the sergeant can and lieutenant can. Wow, right? that's above. interesting. So, yeah. Yeah. so yeah, like I said, the supervisors can. If you want more information from them, yeah, we just have the supervisor on the radio. Okay, hour. so they're up there. If you want to speak with them, that's fine. Where are they? Up at the top in the parking lot. Oh, okay. Cool. Oh, they're sitting in the parking lot. All right, good. I'll do that. Thank you. You're welcome. He's up here? Yeah. What's his name? Okay. Howdy. Hey, Howdy. 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 Radio. I wish one of you guys can tell me what, officially what the rules are here. Uh, they're online. Well, well the guys, right here. The guys uh, said the superintendent was up here. Is that one so of you the guys? The rules are that between 11 and 5, nobody's going to be on the beach. Except to go to the, into the water? Except to be in the water, oh. to and from the water. And then outside of 11 to 5, the only reasons you can be on the beach is for moving or exercising. At least for this weekend, too? Until further notice. Until further notice. Okay. I'm in... Uh, 
So what How kind of sedation will these people get if they stay on the beach? What kind? Yeah, I mean, what, will be, what will it be for? Well, if exactly. they do get a breaking sedation, that, yeah. breaking the violation of the uh, municipal ordinance, de de declaring it an emergency, we have a code. Mm. Uh, it's an infraction. Actually, it's a misdemeanor, right? This well, yeah, yeah, but we're training as a practice. But yeah, they could get a citation if they refuse to leave. I said, and the judge determines what the amount is. Uh, yeah, just for yeah. anything, they're not, you know, they have their chance to go to court mm -hmm. and uh, contest it. But uh, technically, they're in violation, and if they refuse to leave, they are subject to citation. Mm -hmm. So they got they got till five o'clock, and then it's officially over. Is that what you're saying? Yeah. No. no. That's not what I'm saying. Oh, no, I knew you didn't say that, but you said earlier they're from 11 to 5, right? So 11 to 5, nobody can be on the beach. Outside right. of those hours, if you're going to be on the beach, you have to be engaged in some sort of sport, physical exercise activity and constantly moving. Oh, badminton, uh, 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 volleyball, anything like that? Uh, no. No, they you got to be moving. you got to be just walking, hey, right? Hey, buddy. Right. Walking, right. Okay, cool. Are you on... Uh, yeah, right now that's the orders we're under um, until yeah. uh, the uh, county decides otherwise. Yeah, gotcha. So, cool. you know, we understand it's a nice day, people want to come out on the beach, but unfortunately right now we're trying to protect everybody's health and well-being. Uh -huh. And we're hopefully get everybody's cooperation, and uh, we'll be out here in a little bit. Very yeah, I, get, I gather you wouldn't mind. This was over as soon as everyone else wishes it was. Well, of course. Too. I mean, we want yeah. everybody to enjoy our beaches just like everybody else. Uh, this is not what we want to be doing. Right. Uh, but this is a matter of protecting everybody's health and safety. Yeah. So, you know, yeah. it's an unfortunate situation that we're in, but uh, for the betterment of everybody, we got to enforce these laws. Has there been much protest like this, uh, or is this a fairly new thing? Uh, we've had some minor ones mm -hmm. here and there, but nothing too big. This will be the biggest so far. <laughs> yeah, maybe, but yeah. they're all they've all been cooperative and mellow, and yeah, put people basically move on when they're told to. Basically. For the most part, yeah, yeah, we haven't had any resistance problems. Yeah. Very good. Well, so have you had to, like, haul a lot of people in, or did they just refuse to go? Or? It doesn't sound like it. No, no. These types of things, most you get pretty much compliance. If, mm -hmm. if not, they might get a citation and send them on their way, but we're not looking to throw anybody in jail over this. We're just looking to hopefully get compliance. Well, it looks like you might get some people who are into constitutional stuff here. Have you, has that happened to you before? It happens mm -hmm. all the time. What do you do with that? I mean, how do you handle it? We have no more constitutional rights, right? We enforce the laws according to uh, according so to you don't the Constitution. Them. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So there's one. <laughs> are these constitutional laws you're enforcing? Mm -hmm. Well, these are laws set by the county and the state. Get They're not allowed right? to okay, make so. laws that overshadow okay. the Constitution. Well, sir, I'm, sorry. I'm not here to argue or discuss no, these no, matters. But, no, no, no. I understand your position, but I also understand that, for example. Say you were given an order to fire into a crowd of unarmed people. So, sir, here, I apologize. I'm not, I'm just, I'm I'm just saying. To, I'm not wanting to engage in a conversation with you in oh. regards to what is right now. Mm. Right now, we're doing a job. If you have a. What is the job again? Did we you? are supervising our officers that are clearing the beach right now. And the reason is because. Sir, do you have a crime you need to report? No, I'm just you asking. Need... I'm okay. just asking. Well, then I'm just going to say I'm not going to answer your question right now. You're not answering. Because... Okay. Unless you have a want to report a crime, you need police assistance. But I'm not right now wanting to have a conversation in regards to legality, constitutional laws, hmm. and what exactly we are doing other than I tell you our officers are clearing the beach right now. That's how it always works. Okay. Sure. Yeah, Charlie had the the uh, counselor uh, on today. The, the, the counselor? Yeah, one of the okay. counselors. Those are the people you have to talk to about the rules. These guys are are just enforcing. Oh, it. I get it. Yeah, You're just doing your job. Yeah, appreciate that. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, we had some. We don't decide what's legal and what's not. No, we we just had that one of the some great questions for attorneys and for judges. Well, okay. we, we had the counselor, one of the counselors, on the radio today to, to answer these things too. Because the, the natives are getting more restless, as you probably know. Hey, you know, yeah. everybody's cooped up. You know. Yeah, exactly. Everybody's everybody's humans. We get it. Yeah. But we're just here to do what we got to do. Yeah. I know, but you know what? When I swear an oath to uphold something, I do it. You guys swore an oath to uphold the Constitution of the United States. Absolutely. 
you're not upholding it. This is First Amendment violation right here. I'm not going to engage you in an I'm argument just telling about whether you. it's constitution because it's not a question for me. It's a question for a quarter for an attorney. That's not what other officers are saying. That's not what... The sheriff of Huntington Beach has, has well, refused I'm to... Not, I'm not in Huntington Beach, sir. I'm just telling you. Okay. Yeah, you got to deal with your chain of command. I, I just yeah. I got to deal with what's here, you know? Yeah. I, I respect your opinion. Yeah. 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 This isn't a, a thing for everybody to get pissed off at each other. You know, no. We're just, just trying to do what we need to do. Yeah. Set an example. And understand that the people that are out here, we may have different thoughts about things. But the bottom line is, we're not the experts, and we're not the people that have the ability to make the rules. Mm. So. It's good to see you guys. Yeah, you too. I'm out here. Oh, thank you. Uh, uh, it. Hey, no problem. You take it easy. Enjoy yourself. Oh, okay. out there. Uh, <laughs> Not necessarily out there. Out there. Yeah, right. You know what I mean. Yeah, yeah absolutely. <laughs> He's a badass pianist. He's playing this band called Interstellar Transmissions. <laughs> so we're going to bring him back to the place he needs to be. As long as you don't violate someone else's rights, do what you wish. Yeah, right? <laughs> yeah. It's the first one, though, right? They're going to do it every Friday, they I say? think so.